What's up everybody, it's Quizzy. I am back today. Almost would say feeling good, but it always seems like there's something up, man. His boy has a little toothache. Oh my God, but I got me some ibuprofen. I popped two of them. We're gonna do some videos today. All right, look, today, so well, today what we're gonna ready to do, man, we're gonna laugh today. We're gonna live spirits and we're gonna watch some Family Guy dark humor compilation, okay? I know a lot of people have been liking South Park, so we're doing more South Park. Yes, rest assured, I am still will do more South Park, but we're gonna watch some Family Guy today. I don't give a damn how I feel. We're gonna get this shit together, all right? After all, I used to work the suicide hotline. <sighs> I, I just can't take it. I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while. Damn. And I just, I can't live like this. I have to kill myself. No! Doesn't it make more sense to kill her? You can count on me. Well, he said, does it make more sense to kill her? I'm just not a big fan of people killing themselves. I'm definitely not a big fan of people killing themselves over women. I would say just move the fuck on. Kill them bad vibes that you got and move the fuck on. Stop being a pump. Pick up your nuts and move on. Same way NASA counted on me during the Apollo 13 crisis. All right, I'm gonna need three coffins, mahogany with brass handles, three new daddies for the dead astronauts' kids, and a black suit for me. Sir, I think I know a way we can get them back. Is it hard? It might be. Yeah, we, we've kind of already decided we're going in this direction. Um, for uh, years now, I've been planning on retiring at 45 so I can work on finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Peter, are those testicles? Ugh. Where did you get those? I don't remember! We've got to stick together like that two-headed girl on TLC. Okay, who wants to taste it and who wants to smell it? I'm tired of living with morons. Remember when I tried to open that lemonade stand with Chris? All right, that'll be 10 cents. Chris, pour the man his lemonade. I can't! The lemonade tricked me and got away! This... Bro, I'm a holler, bro. The lemonade really did. Lemons are God's children! We gotta find out where that party is and get Meg out of there! You're right. God, what happened? It seems like just yesterday she was born. Mr. Griffin, would you like to cut the cord? Sure. Okay, that wasn't the cord, and now you've got a girl. Don't be huh. afraid to be honest. So they said Meg was a boy? They do Meg wrong, bro. Like, don't they do Meg dirty? Anybody that watch Family Guy, they know they do Meg dirty wrong. Like, that's, <laughs> that's a damn shame the way they do her. Just with a girl and show up who you are. Wow. Thanks, Lois. That's the second best advice anyone's ever given me. I don't know, man. Jesus, Hitler, Christ sounds weird. So just go with age. Yeah. Well, for the next 72 hours, I'm going to be harder to find than a nice cat. You need me to clean out your litter box? Uh-huh. Mittens. Well, she's busy with a blood drive. Maybe I can help. How about I read you this book? It's called Apathetic George. George used to be a curious monkey, but after a month in captivity, all he did was wait for food. The zoo people wanted him to mate, but he lost interest in that, too. Twenty years and millions of dollars in zoo revenue later, he died. Okay. Wow. Right, bro. Why would you read that story to a child, bro? Man, you don't want to hear that shit. Bro, you want to hear it like, I don't know, the Goldilocks and the three fucking bears and shit. Like, I don't really want to hear the goddamn captive monkey died and shit. Curious George died in the goddamn zoo, man. Who the hell would even make the children's book like that? South Park. Hmm, maybe this one. Hey, looking at you pretty normal, huh? No! Ugh. Ah, fudge. Wait, I know! Oh my god. I'll figure this out. But he all fucked up. Right, I'll go home and figure this out. At least now no one's forcing us to watch. That dude all fucked up, bro. Like, you lost both of your legs and your arms, and all you got is one eye. You fucked up, bro. You need a wheelchair. Those awful PBS documentaries. And now, PBS presents... My bad. You can't... My bad. You don't need a wheelchair. You ain't got no fucking arms. Damn, bro. My Albino bad. children are normal. So, with the exception of not being able to go out in the sun, you're completely yes. normal? Yes. The moon is my son. I like to kill beetles. Beetles are teachers. I sleep with a fork. That's what all the okay. star athletes do. Ugh, I'm so sick of all the special treatment they get, even during school shootings. Kevlar vest? Kevlar vest? Hold on. Are you a starter? These are for starters only. I'll be a starter next year. <laughs> next year? You can have a vest. 
Damn. This is trespassing and it's against That's the law. That's wrong. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. <laughs> Not overly affectionate. Yeah, go back to spirit, buddy. There's a little bit of good in everyone. Except that president guy from the Hunger Games. He was pretty bad. This year, in addition to the Hunger Games, we're going to do the special Hunger Games. I'm Andy. I love you, Andy. Come on, guys, fight. This is Kevin's Shh. first birthday since he came home from Iraq. Why does Kevin always sit at the bus stop but never gets on a bus? Please don't bring that up. Don't bring anything he does up. Hey, you guys. You're right on time. Kevin just woke up screaming from his afternoon nap. Mom, it's Girl. my birthday and you invited your friends. All yours are dead. Uh, you're gonna start dating? That's fucked up. Damn, that's fucked up. Soon, probably good to get in the habit of chewing with your mouth closed. Doesn't bother me, I'm just, you know, one friend to another. Yes, it does. What, you got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? <laughs> Don't do that. Wow. Don't do that. Yeah, this is what you are. This is what I am. That's it's hella been three nasty. Weeks and you haven't had a single job lead. And it's not true. I came really close with that job at the school. So what makes you want to be a crossing guard? I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. Stella, I need you to go to Chicago on Thursday. I can't. This week is the tough games. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this has been a 12-minute round. Why does every fight have to go to the death? That's wild, Stacy. I'm a 12-year-old girl, too. My name's Jenny. Wanna come over to my place and help me move? Hey, you're not a 12-year-old girl. Neither are you, Jenny. Huh. I guess we aren't so different after all. Yeah. You know, this isn't a whole lot of stuff. We can probably knock this out in an hour. Wait. Bro, I'm, I'm hollering, bro. So two two pedophiles pranked each other. They they pedophiled each other. Wow, that shit crazy, bro. I, if anybody know me, y'all know I am against anything that has anything to do with children, bro. Like that shit gets on my fucking nerves, dog. Like I'm not an advocate for anybody messing with children. I'm not an advocate for anybody being on children. I'm not an advocate for anybody doing some anything sexual with children. I think those people need to be fucked up. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Somewhere far away. Maybe China. I hear they got NASCAR. Her strong ass. Oh, note I sent off. Dear Pakistan, up yours. Love, India. Let's see what happens. Damn! Whoa! They did not need much. Boy, what a great day for a baseball game. Yeah, and these are the best seats in the house for catching home run balls. Oh, that'd be sweet. The only souvenir I ever got was at that stock car race. Damn. All right, I got the guy. I got the guy. Oh, thank God. I really That's fucked full of up. Hair. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Everybody makes mistakes, even doctors. Oh, I forgot, shit. I forgot to say clear. I love that piece you did on the invention of the guillotine. Oh, thank you. You know, half the time those things didn't really work. How was it, honey? Oh, they couldn't finish. Oh, really? Yeah, I gotta go back tomorrow. Oh, well, I made cabbage for dinner. Yeah, that would be the ending to this day. For example, here's what happened when we fertilized an egg from Shelley Duvall with a sperm from James Blunt. Damn. Here's <laughs> Hilary Swank and Gary Busey. Florence Griffith Joyner and Stephen Hawking. Okay, I think that's enough. I got more funny ones. I got Tina Fey and Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, I think we're fine. A lot of face stuff going on in that one. Uh. Like people in massive debt? Well, honey, I've extended our line of credit and exhausted all our savings. We should be good for another month. Oh, that's great, honey. Well, what are we going to do next month? Well, I'll tell you what we're not going to do. Shoot all of our children and then kill ourselves. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hold you to that. I don't think you'll have any control over it. All right, Joe, let's lose the wheelchair and shoot this thing. That's Peter, I can't up, lose bro. the wheelchair. I need it to move. Okay, yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. Oh, that's fucked up. He can't walk, bro. Damn. Should have taken the shot, fat ass. Ow, 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 ow. 
Damn, bro. Uh, That's what he deserved. With them religious groups, they believe in all kinds of weird stuff. If I believe in Jesus hard enough, I will not die. If I believe in Snake Jesus hard enough, he will die. If I believe in Tree Jesus hard enough, both of them will die. Yay! Thank you, Tree Jesus. Griffins have a long history of figuring stuff out, like my great grandfather who invented the first marital aid. This gives me an idea. She's dead. Would an idiot have been able to rig this rig to that rig? Peter, that's nothing. How oh, is it? What? I died! I died! That's so fucked what up. What are you doing up there? Enjoying heaven, Bonnie. Come join me. There's a gun in my nightstand. I'll be honest, it was nice he to be the chief for once. Usually he's just reminded me that whatever punk I'm roughing up ain't worth it. You son of a bitch! I ought to kill you right here! <coughs> hey! This punk's not worth it. You're right. How do you get caught by him in a wheelchair? You're not worth it. Find a way to channel your anger. What I do is throw a shot put into a crowd and make it look like an accident. Damn! I to make it look like an accident. You look nice, so I'll blow my burps the other way. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, thanks. Usually people just find me awkward. I have a hard time with small talk. Did you find everything you were looking for? Yeah, I did all right for a guy who just had his first homosexual experience with his guitar teacher. What? Hey, people got along just fine for thousands of years without AA. Just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? Whoa, shit. You should always fight for what you believe in, like Patrick Henry. Give me liberty or give me death. Oh. Uh, oh, that was easy. I know, right? Ryan wanted to give him liberty. You do the paperwork, Ryan. All right, we'll come to dinner. But I want you to know I'm very skeptical about this whole thing. Oh, that's okay. Uh, hey, listen, I was skeptical. Mike Tyson looking ass. It's all about traveling to Mexico. I took one step outside the resort. Meow. Hey, you know what's weird, bro? I've been hearing that a lot lately. Like, if you go to Mexico, if you step outside that damn resort, you better be ready to fight. Kill, or you better be ready to do some 007 shit. Bro, because I swear to God, bro, people been saying that, that outside, that Mex outside that resort, it's fucked up. I don't know, man. We're on a hunt to find a family guy compilation or episode that really makes me laugh like South Park does. At this point, nothing makes me laugh like South Park, man. I'm, I'm just being honest. I, I don't know what it is. Like, South Park, I just, it, it, I, I'm just, like, I, I can laugh. Rick and Morty is very interesting to me. And, and a lot of times it makes me laugh. But South Park is at the number one. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. That's why when y'all say, hey, do more South Park, I say, you don't have to twist my leg to do anything. Go down in the comments, man. Let me know that you liked it. Let me know that you didn't. And actually, do me a favor, man. Hit that like button. And also, hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'm Quizzy, man. I do music. I do pranks. I do vlogs. And guess what? I do reaction videos, all right? So y'all be safe. Stay careful. Peace.